Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a really quick tutorial going over how to patch a blank date to a SharePoint date time column. Before we jump in, I wanna go over quickly what I have set up here. Basically, I've set up a really simple to-do list in Power Apps. We have a task name field here and a task due date field here, and we have a submit new record button here. And all this is doing is we're just collecting those two uh, fields to a SharePoint list. So if we pop over to the SharePoint list, we can see that we have a title field uh, as well as a date column, and this is a date time column. So this trick is only gonna work if you're using this date and time column, as it really doesn't matter if you're using a single line of text, because um, you can already patch blank to those anyway. So if we go ahead and add a task like clean room, and if we wanna say that we wanna do this on the 18th, uh, we submit new record, and it'll show up in our to-do list. Over on the right side, this is our patch statement. Um, this is just kind of queued up to the selected record in the gallery. Uh, so if we take a look at this and format that a little better, we're just patching any changes to the record based on our task name uh, field as well as our task due date. So right now I have the default value of this date picker set to blank. Um, so if we wanted to go in here right now and we wanted to change the date, we could say, I want to change this to the 29th and we patch it, we can see our date updates. Basically the scenario we're looking at is if you have an app where you need to clear out a date, right? So if something comes up and you no longer want to have a set date for a task or whatever the purpose may be. So we'd want to set this back to blank. As you can see, we have a blank date now and we're going to patch and nothing happens. So we can change the text up here and we know that our record's patching successfully, nothing's going on when we wanna set that date to blank. So in order to allow Power Apps to send a null value to that column, we just have to turn on a setting quickly. So if we go up to settings and then we go to upcoming features, uh, right now it's under preview. I believe in the past it was experimental. Uh, it is this setting right here. It is formula level error management. On the surface, this setting doesn't seem like it does much. Like I mentioned before, this was an experimental setting that came out a long time ago. I believe most of the features that this initially rolled out with are now natively cooked into Power Apps, um, but there's still one thing and that is patching null values to a database. I'll link some documentation to that if you wanna read up a little bit more about that in the description below. Um, but now if we were to turn this on uh, and then close out of this, uh, we can go back and play our app. We see we have blank value set for this date. Uh, now we can patch it and now we have a null value in that column. So we can give it another try. Uh, if we set this to be the 27th, and we'll patch it and something comes up and we no longer are sure when we're gonna clean this room. Uh, we'll just reset the date to blank and we'll patch and now there's no due date associated. Like I said, I'll have some articles on this below if you wanna read more into that feature, uh, but this is a handy trick to know, especially when you're working with a lot of date columns, uh, depending on your project. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and we will see you in the next one.